In calculus, you will often want to know the slope of a function at a given point. This is the same as finding the slope of the line tangent to the curve at that point. The derivative is an equation that calculates the slope of a function at any point. So if this is the function f of x, the derivative we denote f prime of x. So if we wanted to know the slope of f of x at this point, x star, then we would plug x star into this equation for the derivative. So the slope of this tangent line would be f prime of x star. In this course, we're not going to teach you how to calculate the derivative, but we are going to teach you the basic concepts of how it's found using slopes. Let's take a simple example f of x equals 3x. From the last video, you should know that this is an equation for a line that has a slope of 3 and a y-intercept of 0. At any point on this line, the slope is always the same, which is 3. So in this case, the derivative, f prime of x, is just 3. However, curves are not as simple because the slope changes at every point. So therefore, the derivative isn't going to be just a constant number like it was in the last example. The derivative is also going to change, and it's going to be some kind of equation. This course does not go over how to find the equation for the derivative, but in this video, we'll show you the basic idea of how you would calculate the slope at a certain point. So let's say you want to find the slope at this point right here. You know approximately what it would be because you can visualize what the tangent line would look like, perhaps something like this. So how do you find what the slope of this line is? You don't know exactly, but what you can do is pick another point close to this point, like this one. You can then find the slope of the secant line between these points, which will kind of approximate the slope of the tangent line. How could you get an even better estimate? Well, you could pick a point that's even closer to the point of interest, like right here. Then if you find the slope of the secant line, it's a better approximation, but still not exact. So again, you want to pick a point even closer, as close as you can possibly get. You could get infinitely close to the point of interest. So if we zoom in here, and here we have the change in y, and here we have the change in x, the slope of the tangent line is the change in y divided by the change in x as this change in x goes to zero, right? This change gets smaller and smaller as the point you choose gets closer and closer to the point of interest. This gets into limits, which you'll learn about in lesson four. One thing that's really important about knowing the slope at a given point is you often want to know where the slope is zero. Just look at this curve. Where would the slope be zero? Where there's a maximum value and where there's a minimum value. Because here, the tangent line is perfectly horizontal. So if you know the equation for the derivative, f prime of x, and you set it equal to zero, you can find the x values where there's a maximum or minimum value for the function. We can also kind of visualize what the derivative should look like. For example, the derivative is positive from here all the way to here. It starts out relatively close to zero, and it gets bigger and bigger. See here where the slope is pretty steep? But then you know at this point, the derivative is zero because that's where the tangent line is flat. So you know the derivative hits zero. Between this point and this point, the derivative is negative. See how the slope of f of x is negative? So it'll be negative up until this point where the slope becomes zero again. And then the slope becomes positive and increases a lot. 